Hi, I'm Dorothy and I'm a body talk practitioner and an access trainer and I had the great, great privilege of teaching access, nine access classes in the Philippines this January. We had a wonderful organizing committee and Marilyn is one of those. Yes, I took access in the Philippines and I'm so happy that we'll continue next year if um, Dorothy and Ben Manala are coming. Uh, wonderful things have happened since their first sessions and I hope we can now expand to other places in the Philippines like Mindanao where we both worked for a long time and it suffered a lot from government neglect as well as war on terrorism so this is really something for us next year. This year uh, we focused on a pilot project people who were affected by toxic waste that were left by the US military bases. So a lot of children with leukemia, um, there was a lot of uh, blood related diseases, a lot of asbestosis from people who had to uh, change pipes in the naval ships without any proper... And we did four classes. Um, the underemployment and unemployment is about 40 to 50 percent. So instead of paying for their classes, they are doing body t uh, access for themselves and then for 20 other people around them for six months. And then we're going to again check how how people are doing. And so this coming year, we're going to finish that project and then we'll be doing the actual body talk sessions to to kind of build up that what people are already empowered themselves to do. It's all good. <laughs> I think this is doing the right thing at the right time at the right place and we're so happy to have Dorothy over again and in a different role. She used to be a, a great researcher and organizer and now she comes as a healer and it's bridging a lot of people from one island to the other from one ideological persuasion to another. One of the really wonderful things about the organizing committee is uh, five very committed Filipinas. And in addition to doing the in the barrios where there was no there is no electricity, no water, I also got to to uh, meet the governor and uh, teach him the courtesies and explain what this was about. And then he arranged for me to speak to everybody in the provincial health authority who had responsibility for any kind of posts, like those working with the midwives or with health. health uh, healthy lifestyles. So there's a way of getting that now from that little pilot project to the whole province and hopefully in the next few years there will be a lot of access trainers, Filipinos, to take it to the many islands. There's a huge amount of people who are really, really resourceful and, and creative and um, we're so quick to learn. Uh, that there's just, I think, there's such potential in that country and I really hope that we can share our resources financially as well so this can happen. It's really very exciting and I think uh, this year we're able to tap into government resources because historically there have been a lot of non-government organizations in the Philippines born out of the martial law struggle and a lot of them have gotten into government this time and so they're trying to put their resources to something really good and I think um, Body Talk is one project and program that they'd be very open to so it's very exciting. And one way that people here in the uh, in the states, Canada, elsewhere can contribute is through the International Body Talk Association Foundation, because that money goes for outreach programs like the things that are happening in the Philippines. So thanks very much. Yeah, I just wanted to thank IBA, IBA too for you know letting me participate in this wonderful week. I had a fabulous week. In the pilot project. Um, it's very, the people are in far, far flung barrios and resettlement areas, and so there's really no um, access to direct health care. So they are, really do have to um, look after themselves. So learning these five techniques has, is a really great way to take care of a lot of the day to day situations. And I think of one person in particular who. Um, had a very high blood pressure, but she was responsible both for her parents and for her young children as well. And just by doing these access techniques, the blood pressure came down. And um, she then started working with a couple of children who, whose eyes were um, diseased. 
and she's reporting now that they've got clear eyes and that her son is doing so much better at school. He's in grade four. And, and as a little aside, she started talking about how she did this for her husband. And finally, she said the, the only thing we could do is go to bed because finally he could do what he needs to do as a husband. <laughs>